and we, we're going to sit chat, see what plays out with the Amber Eyed Lioness. While we do that, let's go see what James is. Oh, another Lioness. So someone heard those contact calls. Hello. I wonder if this is the female who stashed the cubs and now come back. No, 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 say hello, Amber. Or oh, you're going to ambush and jump. Oh, here we go. Watch this, watch this. This is spectacular. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, it's the cubs, the cubs are back. We can't just see them. So this lioness might be a little bit more protective than usual. I don't think these cubs have been introduced yet if there's three of them. Oh, a little fluffies. Oh, isn't this too precious? Now, this, as far as we know, is the first introduction of the new cubs to any other pride member. And oh, they're still they're nervous around another line, and that's not uncommon. They, as you can see, they're very used to us, but they're not used to other lions. They only know mom and each other. And mom's going to stick with them. Aubrey, Aubrey. Well, we that one Sati with a three month pimpan has brought them back to Bokulzuk Dam. So we've got two one Sati and three month pimpan. So it's the cubs that are nervous of another lioness. And that's why they've moved off and caused mom to move off as well. This might be their first ever sighting of another member of the Inkahuma Pride. <laughs> See, the cubs don't want to be around Amber. You can see that looking a bit more confident the further they get from her. Now it's going to be interesting to see if she calls them back and comes back towards the other lioness or amber eyes who is sitting above us. Oh, look at that looking down on us. It's not often we get looked down upon by a lion. Them, how are you feeling? Mm. A bit nervous? Okay, no, no okay, good. It is quite spectacular. Standing by. Firm, just to come very, very slowly. I think this is uh, the first introduction of these three cubs to another lioness, so the cubs are a lot more skittish than they normally are. So we're not going to move, we don't want to add any extra drama. Here come the cubs running back then. Just too special. It looks like one made a false step into the mud of the Buffalo's Hook waterhole. So it's going to be a gradual process introducing cubs to the pride. It's a, and it's the cubs who are not relaxed and. We immediately saw old Amber snarl a little bit, but that's because of the, the very 
dominant and defensive pose mom put on in front of her. <laughs> so there's the, the, the cub that took one step too far into Buffalo's hook, the one in the middle. Oh, she's, she's going to try to bring them back towards Amber. This is incredible. This is not behavior you get to see very often. And normally introductions are done when there's a kill. So a nice stable sighting. Okay, they're going to move around. going on. We're still going to keep our distance a little bit. Okay, there we go. So, there's Amber. Here comes the mom. I can't see the cubs just yet. Mom might call them closer. Yeah, no, they're right there. That's the closest they've been to Amber Eyes so far. Look, the one, one is checking out Amber Eyes. There we go. That must be a little boy. Oh, this could be very, very interesting. What's going to happen? Seems to be standing right next to you, having a little sniff. Not quite sure. Like, well, this looks like my mom. Doesn't smell like my mom. But she's not trying to eat me yet. <laughs> Look at those rotund little bellies full of milk. I'm going to go back to mom. Mom, mom I know mom. Isn't this amazing? We're getting to see most incredible insight into the private lives of lions. Now, not many people get to see this type of behavior, and I'm so happy that everyone out on the Sunrise Safari has been able to join us for this. Now, we can't definitely say it's the first time those cubs have met. Oh, here we go. Coming out again. I've met Amber. But it definitely looks like it. Just from the behavior, if it's not the first, it's the second. saying just yesterday that it's got to be in the next week or so that the cubs are going to be introduced to the rest of the Nkuma pride. I know it's not the full pride yet, but that's definitely a start. wondering, has a female ever not introduced her cubs to the pride before? Um, it's unusual. I haven't heard of anything. But there's, there's cases of nomadic females who do breed, but they don't hold a pride. But um, that's because they just they don't have a pride. And it's very unusual for those cubs to ever survive. Well, look, there's the muddy paws. Getting, getting a little bit braver with Amber. She's being quite nice and calm.
just come to the right of me and go a little bit further forward, you should have a very nice view there. Go back to mom, but they should come back out again, and we're just going to sit patiently here. As I said, this looks like the first introduction of the cubs to uh, another member of the pride, so they're not too relaxed yet. So you'll probably find they'll do a lot of these little forays from mom back closer and closer to the amber-eyed lioness. Now it leaves the question, where are the rest of the incomers? <laughs> 